Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Today I'm going to explain the quest tree. So this view. Um, this is very much like um, the file system view of your computer. So where is it? <laughs> I have so many things here. This is the project. So. The quest tree is exactly uh, a file system view adapted to Solaris. So there are, there are different types of resources, maps, style set, sounds, etc. For example, if you go see the sounds, or let's go see the music. Um, each file they are called a resource when they are uh, something known by Solaris, like a music, a map, an item, an enemy script. So each resource has an ID, which is the file name, without extension. So castle, we should have a castle dot something file dot it. Uh, musics can have the it extension or ogg or spc. But, um, but that's not the point. The ID is always a file name without extension. And then you can put any description you want to uh, make it easier for you. And there is also this colon uh, that shows the type of resource. And by the, by the way, you can listen to music here. So uh, yeah, same for all other kinds of resources, sounds, there are a lot of sounds here, but uh, this is just a view of the file system, there is no, no magic, everything is open. And I didn't take the time to put nice descriptions, so each description in this particular case is the same as uh, ID, but in music they had better names. For example, this one. Um, you can have several levels of directories inside a resource folder. For example, that's what I do with sprites, enemies, entities, hero sprites, the herd menus, and you can have m as much as you want. So this is exactly the file system. Um, except that the quest editor does not always show everything, okay? PNG files are not shown here. You only show, the, it only shows the, actually it's a dot .dat file. But uh, we will see sprites later. Same principle for maps. Each map has actually two files. A dot .dat file, which is uh, the list of entities and their coordinates on the file. So this is actually what you always edit graphically in the map editor. When you do map saves, map save, it saves uh, this .dat file. And there is a second file, which is the sprite of the map. You can open it with right click open script uh, by clicking here or last or shortcut with F4 F4 and this is the script um, but I won't explain scripts in this episode so yeah a map is actually two files and the ID is the file name without extension tileset are even represented as three files for example, light world, a dat file, again, it's the one you edit in the tileset editor. So it's a list of, of patterns and their properties. There is also a PNG file, you don't see it here. So when you edit a tileset, you, ju you just need to edit it with your favorite tileset edit uh, image editor. For So GIMP in my case, maybe Photoshop for you, I don't know. No. 
And there is a third one, which I won't explain in this episode, but the important thing is that they, all three of them have the, the resource ID, light world, that you find here. So this is the file name without extension. Uh, what else? Languages, it's empty, items, fonts. So the same, same principle for all resource folders. Resource folders are the one recon are the folders recognized by the engine. It's simple. It's it's all the ones with i with an icon. Uh, so this one is just a regular folder. The quest editor always shows folders. So if you create a folder, it shows up here. It shows up here, and you, we should see it here. And this is synchronized to the file system, so if you create or delete something or rename something from one side, it still works. Delete. Okay, it disappeared. Um, so yeah, this is very open. You can edit whatever you want from here, if it's easier. And you have to do it for PNG files, actually. And in any of these folders, you can always create script files, Lua script files, and they will be shown for... So yeah, there is the game manager script that we already saw just uh, very quickly to set the starting location. There is another one here, another one here. And this one is special, it's the main Lua script. The engine in, uh, wants, wants it in the root folder. Okay. Um, one more detail. If I open the quest that you obtain when you create... Uh, where is it? When you create a new quest. So the non-Zelda one that we, s brief we that we so saw in the very first episode of, tut of this tutorial. Um, there are some files that are declared on the quest in the quest in the project, but are missing on the file system. Uh, maybe it will be fixed. It will probably be fixed in the next few months. So. Uh, maybe for you it's already okay, but if it ha ever happens, uh, if a file is missing on the file system but is declared on the quest, it won't just disappear, it will still be shown with this red exclamation mark icon to indicate that there's a problem. The file is not found, so you can't play the sound. So you should fix this problem before releasing your quest. Otherwise you there is a risk of getting some error messages, entities that don't work correctly if their sprite is missing. Uh, for example there's a, a hero sprite missing here. So in the current state of this project you can't use the shield because there is no sprite. Uh, there are a few other ones missing here. We are working on it, don't worry. <laughs> uh, let's get back to the Zelda project. Um, so, this is the case of something missing on the file system but declared on the project. And the contrary is also possible. If you copy your music or, uh, or any resource, it also shows up here, because it's on the file system, but with a special interrogation mark icon, uh, which means it's not declared in the quest. So do you want to add it to the project? If yes, right-click, add qu to quest as music. You can already play it at this step. But um, if you want to use it in the project, and in particular to see it, in the music selectors, 
you don't have the second Dark World music here. So you have to add it to the project. And then, okay, it's here. Okay, let's remove it now because I don't really want that. I removed it from here, so it removed it both from the file system and from the project. If you remove it from here, from your uh, um, file system, delete. Uh, okay, so we. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let's declare it first. Oops. So now it is declared. Delete. And it's shown here. Okay. You had something declared in the project, so if it ever becomes missing, you will have this to tell you. Okay, but you can still remove it from the project. I think you f you if we just found a bug. Uh, there is a slight refresh issue. But uh, okay, the important thing is that um, everything is synchronized between the file, the real file system, and the and this quest review. Okay, as soon as you create, even from here, something, you see the new directory here. And if I remove it, it disappears. Um, okay, what else did I want to explain about the quest tree? I think nothing else. So, if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comments. And don't forget to put a like to give motivation to the team. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.